What is going on, everybody? Dr. Chris Featherstone here for yet another episode of Unscripted List. And it's Tuesday night. You know what that means to have some of the biggest, the baddest, the best wrestlers of today and yesteryear. And tonight is no different. Listen, I've got a wrestler by proxy, by uh, by genetics, by ancestry, by offspring, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this person, you know, it's interesting because uh, there's certain people in pro wrestling that you really are big fans of and there's like your wrestler your set of wrestlers that you are you are a mark for or a mark for one of those wrestlers was uh we a lot of people know him in wwe as the texas tornado but uh i know him as the modern day warrior ladies and gentlemen because he was in a uh, world-class championship wrestling and he was like the guy in world class and i was a big fan him and his brothers too uh there's uh kevin and david and so and, and others and this person is an offspring of hall of famer carrie von eric st louis wrestling hall of fame too i think the uh, her and her sister just uh, recently inter, uh, inducted him in there a few years back so without further ado ladies and gentlemen this is the uh daughter of the legendary carrie von eric Holly Chilton, I believe is her last name. But hey, us wrestling fans, we'll just throw her in with the other Von Erichs. Holly Von Erich, how are you tonight? Hi. Hi, Dr. Chris. I'm so good. I'm glad to be here. Fantastic. It's great to have you tonight. Very much. Thank you. Very much. So you uh, are... Uh, by affiliation, by offspring, uh, uh, associated because of your father with some Power Town Wrestling uh, project with my dear friend Greg Gagne. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Magotier. I just had him on my show last week. Uh, Magotier is uh, starting to become a buddy of mine. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really good friends with uh, with Greg Gagne. So let the listeners Great, okay. know about Power Town USA. And Carrie Von Erich's uh, uh, contribution to Power Town USA. Oh yeah. Well, I'm just so thankful. We're so thankful that Greg has included Daddy in the Power Town family. And I, um, you know, I, I haven't gotten involved in a lot of projects, you know, because I, I don't trust a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And Power Town is just doing it right. They're 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 honoring these families of these wrestlers who really built the business and, and what it is today. And I just, I, I was just blown away by his dedication to what he's doing and, and our family too. And um, the, the figure that he made of daddy is that they made of daddy is, is incredible. It is 
so realistic. I mean, you've heard, I've, I've watched all the videos of all the other families talking about the figures. Every single one of them, they, they all say the same thing. They're so realistic. They're the best ones they've seen. And, and daddy's is no different. Um, I mean, I just, I just, I say it every time his, his eyes, the eyes of the figure are so real. Yes. It's incredible. It's it's incredible to look into those eyes and and see my dad. Nice. And um, I don't have I have a lot of I don't have a lot actually uh, from my dad that's tangible. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really looking forward to having this this tangible figure that my kids can also hold and look at and really see like a. a a true representation of their granddad. Yeah. You know, I, I have, I have really strong memories of being able to like hold him and touch him and look into his eyes in, in real life, but mm -hmm. my kids don't get that. So to get a figure like this, that's that realistic. Yeah. It's just, it's so cool. It's so cool. And the world, the championship belt is so neat. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm so thankful for what they've done. It's not just some gimmick, you know, that's just come out to make money. It's, it's, it's really an honor. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'm uh, actually uh, pulling it up here so people can see it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. And ah, there we go. Yeah, let me see. Let me take uh, this off real quick. There we go. So the yeah, so realistic. She is absolutely correct. Look at that. Look at I that. know. Look at that. Look at that. Belt. I mean, look at the look at the quads. Yes, you're right. Yeah, look at the definition in the quads. Just I mean, stuff. that those those that's real. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty close to what they looked like. The now, physique is they, awesome. How the boots are great. I um, I just love that belt. Yeah, yeah, very I love nice. The belt. It's a, it's see that's an old school belt to me. That's one of those. Oh yeah, like, yeah, like well, you know, like I mean business. You know what I mean? Like it maybe, is. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I remember as a kid. You know, those mm -hmm. big heavy belts and mm -hmm. and uh, they were always laying around the. They weren't laying around the house. I guess Daddy probably got them out for us to yeah. look at. But yeah. I always would trace the the world with my fingers. Oh, was you really? <laughs> yeah, but it's just nice. it's just one of those memories that sticks with you for some reason. Nice, yeah. nice. So that's how, that's powertownwrestling dot com and uh, follow at Twitter at underscore powertown. So it looks like uh, some some good things is coming up. Some uh, some additions, uh, some Twitter followers coming up, and it looks like y'all keeping up with uh, with with the posting and everything. So that's that's fantastic. So awesome. Yeah. Powertownwrestling dot com. Awesome, awesome. Yes, sir. You ready to get into these questions? Sure. I don't know oh, what to right. expect. It's just a QA. and a, just a, just a <laughs> I don't really do 30. this kind of thing. Yeah, Q&A. Uh, Guillermo's asking, your favorite um, Von Eric family moment, either as a single star or a, uh, well, well, a single stars um, or a, a family moment as a Von Eric. A family moment? Oh, there's lots of family moments. Mm -hmm. um, so anytime I think of my childhood with my family, um, I think of Mimi and Granddad's Ranch in Edom, mm -hmm. um, Edom, Texas. I don't know if many of y'all know about that ranch. A lot of people know about the ranch in Edom. Mm -hmm. I, uh, but anyway, as a kid, it was always like, let's go to Mimi and Granddad's. And so when Daddy was in town, we'd jump in the car. Daddy might have been drinking. Mm -hmm. A beverage in the car, mm -hmm. maybe. I might have chipped this tooth trying to open one one time. Mm. And um, we get in the car, listen to Willie Nelson, jam out to Guns N' Roses. Uh, <laughs> lots of Willie Nelson, though. And then we make it to eat them, and we just ride four-wheelers. Um, Granddad always had a big pot of gumbo he'd make. Uh, Mimi is always taking me on four wheeler rides, looking at dogwood trees and pointing out every kind of flower you could find in East Texas. Um, lots of cousin time, swinging on rope swings into the tanks, going with granddad in the four wheeler to go feed the catfish. <laughs> um, I mean, just a lot of like dirty little kids running around with red dirt in our ears and, you know, and Mimi's beautiful you know, mansion full of antiques and beautiful furniture. 
all these dirty little kids and boys running around and <laughs> it's just good we just we're a tight family and Very nice. it just you know there's a lot of tragedy that people think about with us but there was so much good with the mm -hmm. family there's so mm -hmm. many great joyful moments and there was so much love for the lord that was inst instilled in into me that all of that outweighs mm -hmm. the the tragedy that a lot of people typically um you know, associate with our family, but, mm -hmm. and that's, that's just what, I mean, that's just one. I, I can think of lots of other memories, mm -hmm. but I can just uh, ramble and ramble and ramble. <laughs> that's the biggest yeah. one. It was Mimi and granddad's going to Mimi and granddad. Going to the ranch. Nice. Going to the ranch. Uh, Guillermo is also asking your opinion on Lacey, uh, Lacey's time in TNA. Your, your, your sister. Ah, uh, Lacey. Well, you know, Lacey and I are super close. Uh, we talk like, I don't know, a couple times a week. Um, so I've always been one of her biggest supporters. Nice. And, um, you know, you know, when Lacey got into wrestling, we were like, go for it. Like, have fun. Like, she's always been the showman. She's always loved, you know, you know, being in like a spotlight. So we supported her. Um, and it was funny to watch her, you know, beat people with her ugly stick, but we were, we were glad when, when her time was done and, and, and now she's home with her babies and enjoying her awesome husband and, you know, family life in California. Um, but Lacey Von Eric is a lot different than the Lacey Blindbury mm -hmm. and Lacey Adkison that, mm -hmm. that I grew up with. There's a lot of similarities, like, you know, she's, but she was great. She was she was fun to watch. Um, I don't know how Daddy and Granddad would have felt about it, but mm. you know, <laughs> she had fun. <laughs> how did uh, How did Uncle Kevin, you know, feel about it? You know, I don't think he loved it. Mm. Um, I think that I think that you know, I think props to all the female wrestlers out there. But I think that our family would have preferred, you know, if she was more like a lady. Mm. <laughs> but, gotcha. you know, but but that's the business. And that's, you know, she's beautiful and she's um, charismatic, just like daddy was. Mm -hmm. And um, she had an opportunity and people wanted to, you know, use that opportunity to, you know, market her as a as a female wrestler. and. Um, you know, I, so I think that Uncle Kevin, I, would he have chosen Lacey to go into wrestling? I don't know, maybe not, but I don't know. I can't speak for that. I'm just, yeah, you yeah. know. Well, his sons are killing it uh, in the tag team division. Uh, what do you, what do you yeah. think about uh, your, your cousins? I think that they're awesome. They, 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 I'm, I'm thank So, you know, um, the wrestling business has its um, own like culture, you know, and I think that you have to be a really strong person and not be caught up in certain uh, paths that might be easier to take, you know, without saying certain things. But I think that um, Ross and Marshall have a good mentor in Uncle Kevin. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that they've, they're so, I think they're smart and they've got their heads on right and they love the Lord and, like that is real. The God is really important to them. So, and it was to my dad too, but you know, they've got daddy had other mental health issues. Um, but I think Ross and Marshall are doing great. And I think that uncle Kevin's a good uh, guide for them. And um, they're so fun. Um, their personalities are so fun, especially Marshall. Um, he's got such a fun personality. Um, and they're so acrobatic, you know, it's really fun to watch that. And, um, it just reminds me of when we were kids, you know, jumping on the trampoline, jumping off the house, doing all the backflips. Um, it's like, they're, they're just meant to do it. You know, it's yeah. just in our blood. Mm -hmm. And, um, I haven't got to see a lot of their matches, but I've seen some of them and, um, I just love seeing their personalities shine and them honoring our family. I think that they're doing a good job with that yeah they look like a million bucks too for sure they do they look great mm -hmm. and that's just natural that's that's their natural physique like my 
my cousin Marshall and Ross, they they just are natural. They're active. They work out. Like they, they just, that's just the way that they're naturally built. Mm-hmm. It's in the genes. It's in the it's genes. In the genes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you mentioned uh, your father, uh, uh, Carrie, as far as like, you know, he, him loving the Lord and, and, uh, but he had mental health issues. Did you notice? I know that it was, what, well, passed in 93. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, were you and what uh, Lacey was six, and how are you at the time? So Lacey was seven, and I was nine. He was seven and nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was what February? February. 93? Yeah, ninety four February ninety three. Who was Lacey's? She might have, anyway, was, don't make me do math. I, I thought she but was. Yeah, six we were young. Months, and seven, right? <laughs> yeah, and then you were nine. Okay. So, so basically, at that time, um, a nine year old. You know, daughter, nineteen ninety three. From from your experiences before then, was there a tug of war a lot him mentally? You know, was mm-hmm. it was a concussion related? I know, mm-hmm. you know, the motorcycle accident. I know there were various factors in the tug of war within loving the Lord and you know mental mm-hmm. health issues. What did you actually experience at that time? Uh, just from a physical, just from a psychological and mental health standpoint yeah. of, of a tug of war at that time. Oh yeah. Um, well, I saw, and this is not the foundation of my dad. He would, he was a loving father. He was a loving person. Um, but, um, he had, I know after his motorcycle accident, he had a lot of, uh, a lot, there was a lot of inner turmoil just with like kind of feeling like a fraud, Mm. Um, so you can only imagine what that might do to someone, you know, feel it cause you're hiding something mm. and you can't like be your true self, yeah. you know? So I know that was, that was a big deal. And, um, I know that losing his brothers, there was a lot of yeah. mental issues with that. There was a lot of guilt, yeah. a lot of like, that should be me. Um, mm. why him, you know, he's so great. Um, you know, obviously there was substance abuse, you know, right. daddy losing his foot. He did ha- wrestle with, he had a lot of pain. Right. Um, he abused prescriptions, um, which also led to some other things. Um, dad, daddy had the type of personality where he was like, you know, adrenaline, like, you know, love the thrill and all the, all the, you know, the, needed a thrill. Yeah. And I, I think that, um, that, played into a lot of the this alcohol abuse and substance abuse. But yeah, I mean, as a kid, um, my mom and dad were deeply in love. My mom was deeply in love with my dad, but you know, he started to abuse her mm-hmm. and um, she's a very strong woman and um, she is very protective of us and they divorced, you know, she was like, you got to get help. The, he went into Betty Ford and all kinds of trying to get help. Um, that was hard to see and to be away from my dad. Um, I, I do remember physical abuse, not a lot, never towards my sister or I, mostly just towards my mom. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was, she, she was smart. I mean, she did what she had to do. She got out hoping daddy would get better and, you know, they could work it out. But, um, anyway, yeah, he, uh, you know, there were car accidents you know, a couple times mm. um, where there was a dog in the road, you know. Um, but these are things that, like, it's so weird because, you know, you know it's not right as a kid. But, like, it's almost like you give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, mm. oh, yeah, there was a dog in the road. Like, it's all good, you know. Mm. But now looking back, it's like, gosh, those were some really crazy situations. Um, you know, Daddy um started thinking that he had spiders in his ar- arms. I don't know if I should get into all that, but you or know he would hallucinating. Kind of, huh? Hallucinating. Kind of hallucinating. And mm. um so like he was like digging in his arms and would be like, baby, do you see that? Do you see it's moving? You know, kind of mm. some that was like towards like the, you know, li- I was much older, like towards the end, you know. Yeah. Um so I saw things like that. But, um, yeah, I just, my mom always said, your dad's sick. Mm. 
you know, and it was so hard for her to let us go with it you know, go with him when it was his time, but she knew that was important. And, you know, yeah. I'm sure he wouldn't have ever taken no for an answer, but um, yeah. yeah, he was sick. That's what my mom always used to say. It's a long yeah. answer. I don't even know if I answered all of it. But. It's all right. No worries. <laughs> uh, you did. Absolutely. Did you end up watching the dark side uh, episode of the mm -mm. no. no, I didn't. Um, I, you know, I don't, normally um i talk about my dad a lot to just people like fans and stuff but i don't like to watch a lot of things like that will make me sad mm -hmm. i don't want to watch anything that's gonna make me feel bad and i heard from some people that it would make me feel bad so i didn't watch it yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to find out how much was it i mean because you experienced it i mean as as his daughter you were there and so, you know, through a lot of that, I'm trying to find out someone from like you or Lacey, you know, how much of it was real and how much was embellished, you know? So yeah. that's, that's what like I'm interested what? in knowing about that, you know? Well, I, um, you can ask me a question, but I, I don't, um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have to watch it again to, to, to remember. Yeah. What what you know? Because it was a few years ago when it when it came out. I'll, I'll I feel like someone it. said that it was embellished. Okay. Um, and and some of that is what. That's why I don't watch some stuff because if it, if it's truth, then cool. I got yeah. it. I can handle that. You know, I can handle truth, yeah. even if it's ugly. That's out there. But if it's embellished or if it's if it's ultra negative and it's not the true like doesn't get to the true character of who my dad was. Yeah. I had nine years with him. I know that doesn't yeah. seem like a lot, but there was a lot crammed in, into that. Sure. Yeah. And there was a lot of great Carrie Atkinson in that. Like it was, I, I got the true Carrie, you know, as his daughter. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried to yeah. stick with my, my, yeah. what's good. Yep. <clears throat> Rito's asking, um, how did it feel inducting your dad into the, uh, St. Louis Wrestling Hall of Fame. And do you see yourself being involved in wrestling in some capacity in the future? Oh, St. Louis was awesome. The St. Louis Hall of Fame, everybody was so nice, so thankful. They had the greatest um, stories. Um, and I know Granddad had even wrestled in the venue that we were at uh, in St. Louis where, where they were inducted. Mm -hmm. And anytime I get to honor my dad and my granddad, I mean, that doesn't happen very often. I don't go to stuff a lot. So going to that with my sister was really fun. And the fans were great. Everyone was great there. Um, it's always an honor. I mean, it, I mean, they, that stuff keeps the memory of my dad alive for me. So mm -hmm. awesome. So cool. Um, and as far as being involved in wrestling, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, if people want to talk about daddy and get to know the real daddy um, and granddad and, you know, if Uncle Kevin wants to do something with the family, cool. But you're not going to see me like jumping in the ring or anything like that. Um, actually, was I think one time uh, was there, there was an offer one time. Really? Uh, they wanted me and Lacey. And I was like, that's not my style. DNA did? No, I don't remember what it was. But Lacey was like, would you be interested in doing like a, like a, tag team thing or whatever it is i don't know and i was like um no i would not no zero <laughs> i'll leave it to, <laughs> to the pros <laughs> no interest you ever thought about like hmm i wonder how would it be just walking that aisle just just one time yeah just i have, I, have because the, I think yeah. i would be pretty good i'm pretty so? good i'm pretty sure i'd be pretty good <laughs> and and like wrestling, cutting promos, you know, owning the character, like what what elements? I think all I think see? that like I always tell people, people who know me, like in my former life, I was like a Broadway star, you okay. know. So I'm like, <laughs> think Broadway, WWE, like they're kind of yes. like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It's a, there's a lot of similarities there. Yeah. Um, do you talk to Do you talk to Kevin? So I talk to Uncle Kevin through my cousin Kristen, who is his okay. daughter. Okay. She, I, I mean, I guess when she was in town, I Facetimed him, but gotcha. I don't just call up Uncle Kevin and say, "Hey, how's it going?" You know. Um, yeah. But 
I get to talk to my cousin, Kristen. She's, she's uncle Kevin's oldest daughter and we were close growing up. And, uh, she was in town recently and stayed at my lake house with me and my babies and, and our kids had never met and they instantly were like best friends. It's like, they just knew like that family bond. How many kids do you have? I have two. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what about yeah. being a manager, Benjamin Axe? What did, did you, you say? Come out and a manager? Us, yeah, a manager. What about coming oh, out for Ross manager, and Benjamin? Marshall <laughs> and just, just, just slapping somebody on behalf of Ross and Marshall? Oh, gosh. I'm trying to teach my kids not to hit. So if they see me like smacking people around on... <laughs> <laughs> on TV. I mean, I'm sure I can do it. You uh, gotta be a you gotta be a, a baby face, a, a good guy, and then a good gal, and then smack one of the bad guys, I'd, and then like this is what happens when bad people, you know. That's that's the lesson you learn. I I could I could probably do that. Okay. I could probably okay. do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you got the character, so uh, you know you're Von Eric, you know, so it all worked out. Yeah, uh, I have the name. I got it. You do. You do. Um, who is in a, who wins in a submission match? You or Lacey? Oh, oh man, she's got some weight on me now. Not that she's Did fat, she's get... just bigger boned. Yeah, Did she's you ever like, get physical like when you were younger? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> my uh, yeah, for sure. Um, who won? I mean, I I won, I won, but I was bigger than her then in high school. I was like, like this track star. Like I was all beefed up. I was like 156 pounds. I'm five nine. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I was, had some weight on me. And she got all she was all skinny. And now she's the one that's got the weight on her. Like the you know, I've I've got I don't know. Yeah, she's uh I don't know. We haven't we haven't wrestled in a while. Yeah. Well maybe uh yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe at a pro wrestling ring, ring near you. Could, no. I I could, no. <laughs> huh? I said perhaps in a the pro wrestling ring. The problem with Lacey is she has no fear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lacey yeah. has no fear and she has no like inhibitions. So she would just like murder me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can definitely tell that from when she was in TNA, just very you know, just uh, um, bold and, you know, just didn't care. You know, she's, she's ready to rock and roll. So uh, good stuff. Well, Holly, oh, yeah. it's been a pleasure. Uh, let the listeners know one more time about Power Town Wrestling. Yes. Say, say it again. I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you. Let the listeners know one more time about Power Town Wrestling. Oh, Power Town Wrestling. Uh, go to powertownwrestling.com to get your. Action figures, Carrie Von Eric action figure. Um, I'm pretty sure there's still discount codes out there, um, but they're they're honoring all these legacies. What they're doing um, awesome action figures. A great or great team to support. Uh, they're just they're just doing it the right way. Power Town Wrestling. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And if uh, are you are you just pretty kind of low key now as far as just you know your life is concerned, you and hubby and two kids, just just relaxing, enjoying life. Yeah, yeah. We we uh we spent the last two weeks at the lake house, which is near Mimi and Granddad's ranch, it's about twenty minutes from Edom. And okay. uh, I'm just enjoying this time. Never thought I'd get to be a stay at home mom. With with my babies and I'm just so thankful for it. And that's, that's what I'm doing. And um, in Texas. just soaking it up. Yeah. Nice. I'm in Texas. Yes. Did you say am I in Texas? still in? Yeah. Still in Texas. Absolutely. I, I I'm a Texas girl through and through. Yes. 100%. Nice. I will always be here. I have no reason to leave. <laughs> my last question real quick. Should they rebuild the sportatorium, man? They shouldn't, have, oh. they shouldn't have tore it down. They shouldn't have tore it down. Oh, I'm so sad about that. Yeah. You know, if they rebuilt the sportatorium, I would definitely, definitely go enjoy some nostalgia in there. Yeah. I would. yeah. 
Very nice. That Very would nice. bring me back. Maybe that would bring me into wrestling. Ah, <laughs> okay. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Callie, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Cruz. And Daddy with you. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.